Welcome back, friends and fellow adventurers. Today is a huge milestone for our show, as it is the one-year anniversary of Cocked, a Real Play RPG podcast. This is the 47th campaign episode, and you may have noticed the intro is a little different. We here at Cocked want to send a huge thank you to our good friend at Nerdius Maximus for taking the time to craft a custom theme song to fit the ambiance of our show. If you have not checked out his work yet, and you're a DM, you're missing out. And you need to immediately go check out his work. Seriously, go check him out. Um, also, at the end of this episode, we will be announcing the winner of our Cocked NPC giveaway sponsored by Titancraft. So, thank you, Titancraft. One lucky winner will get to choose from five of the most memorable NPCs of the show so far. This has been quite a journey for all of us here at Cocked, and I personally want to thank all of the listeners as well as the players at this table, both current and past, that have helped this production evolve into what it is today. Cocked would not be what it is without your support. Happy one year anniversary, and here's to many more adventures and one shots from the lands of Manassas. We're going to resume with Agard and Braca as they finish their interaction near an open door while in the pursuit of a brone. Agard had entered the room and then backed out, was using his paws to say that he could not see, and it confused Braca for about 15 to 20 seconds before he realized what happened. Braca, you made your check. You figured out what he was saying as far as he couldn't see in dark vision. Is there anything else you'd like to do this turn? Uh, okay. <clears throat> Katie, you are up. Um, I was 30 feet from the tunnel, so I yes. will just double move and get myself 30 feet into the tunnel. Okay. You have about 50 feet till you reach the um, end where everybody is. You can hear them as far as sounds and, and knowing where they're at, but you can't physically see them at the moment. Well, assuming we can see the ball of light. From the... <laughs> That's true. You saw the vial, right? So you can still see. They just can't see you. We can see the light. You know, like the ball of light. Yeah. yeah we can see So I'm 30 feet in, and they should be able to... I still have the vial they can, out, and they should yes. still be able to see like that coming down, but maybe I can't quite see them or make yeah, them out. You can't see them, but yep, right. they can see the, the light bouncing down the tunnel. She's 30 feet away from us? She's no, about 50 four, feet away 50, from you. 50, sorry. sorry. Got it. She's 30 feet into the tunnel, 50 feet away from you guys. Gotcha. Braca, it is now your actual turn, not just the reaction that I gave you when they got back Okay. Um, so I'm still, I'm still like right next to the um, <clears throat> the room that like just like pretty much in between both rooms, pretty much like at both entryways. Yes, I'm gonna say though, with what you rolled for your insight, you can do an action, but you still aren't sure what Agard was saying yet by covering his eyes. Because we said it take it would take about ten to fifteen seconds for you to click for you, so this turn you're kind of confused, looking at Agard as he's doing his. I can't see as a bear, and so whatever actions you do would be a little more timid at this point, or a little bit slower. <clears throat> okay, well, Brock is gonna walk into the room to the left. Is the room with the water right? Both rooms have water are you going through the door or the room without the door room without the door okay yeah you can you can walk in there okay um so with my dark vision can i see if it's like a pool of water that goes down or if it's just like a puddle so it looks like it is it, it's a watering hole that is there it's about i'd say 30 feet wide by probably 40 feet deep and in the middle you can see what looks like a wooden platform in the middle of the water. Like floating on top, of, like on the surface, or like... 
it looks like it's built in. It looks like you have to climb up like a foot or so to get on top of it. It's sticking up out of the water, but it's a wooden platform. Just a platform, so it goes like down <coughs> into the water, and it's built like all the way down. From what you can see from here, it's not. It's not like it's buoyant. It's not bouncing up and down. It's, like, it's, it's like stable. It's, looks like it's set in its place. <clears throat> okay. Um, can I do like an investigation check to see the purpose of it? Because it's just like a platform in the water. I mean, you could try, but I don't think you would pull like what it would be for. You're, you're not certain. Like you've never seen this before. It's just a strange kind of platform in the middle, and it doesn't look like it's moving or bobbing in the water or anything like that. It's just fixed. Um, would a history check do anything? You were with Arpip for a little while. Sure. Roll history. 24. So you remember that Arpip, as an artificer who also kind of taught you a little bit about things, he used to make <laughs> different things for the dwarves in mining. And one of them that he made was essentially like a string of lights, like the vial that you have, that they would be able to hang and move. And one of the purposes they said that they would use it for is wooden and different types of mine shafts so that they could see and basically find their way through water without getting wet. Find their way through water? Yep. If they wanted to mine and do things like that. I don't know why I'm not understanding. So it's a beam that's fixed to the earth then. That's built in like fixed to the earth at the bottom and there's... You just remember that the dwarves had talked about different structures that they could build to where they could go through water without getting wet. And oh. Arpip made lights for it. Okay. So the lights kind of triggered the, the memory that you had, but outside of that there's not much more <clears throat> as far as what their purpose would actually be. You just remember hearing of these structures. Okay. Um... With 60 feet of dark vision, just real quick, could I see, like, any holes, like, on, like, the walls, like, under, like, underwater, like, on the, like, bottom level? Um, I mean, you can make a perception check. Okay. Well, like a six. From what you see, you don't see any holes or anything on the platform. You're, you're only able to look at the one side that you're looking at, though. Okay. Can I, is that, like, all my movement to, like, get into the room? Well, you were already down there, right? Yeah. So it would be about, I'd say, 15 feet for you to get to where you could see the actual water itself. Okay, yeah. You probably have another 15 feet of movement. Yeah, probably will just move 15 more feet in and get a better look. Are you going into the water because you're at the edge right now? No. Um, just with 60 feet of dark vision, he wants to see if he can see the bottom of it. Okay. <clears throat> and then just see if he can see, like, from, like, you know, like a better perspective, like anything else. I will tell you the water is not very clear here. Okay. Um, Dubraka is going to use a spell slot to make a experimental elixir. Okay. And he's going to um, make a transformation potion and he's going to drink it and just alter self. And he's going to do an aquatic adaptation and he's going to um, go okay. into the water. That's cool. Okay, so we're going to say you're <coughs> able to get in the water and get about 10, 15 feet down, and then we'll pick up with Brock on next turn. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Puck is going to push into the next room and just kind of peer around. The um, gated through, room? Yep, yeah, through the gate. Um, Puck is going to push into the gated room and kind of look around and just see what he can make out as far as directions go. You see him kind of crouch down and look at the floor. And he starts kind of tracing things. And he stands up and he looks back at uh, Agard and Bearform. Um, Agard, I think he went that way. And he points to north of where he's standing. I'll put it that way. Okay, so how far away is he from Agard <clears throat> when he says this? Only about 15 feet. I mean, he's inside the room. But Agard couldn't see him then, right? I mean, oh, I don't think Agar could see him, but you could hear him for sure. So I think 
can can Rhaegar respond? As a bear? As a bear. Yeah, well, he's going to do the same thing. He, knowing what kind of direction <clears throat> the sound is coming from, Rhaegar's kind of, or Rhaegar's going to kind of turn his head in that direction and do the same thing about putting Paul over his eyes. Puck just turns and starts walking, continuing down the way. He rolled a one for his insight. He doesn't understand what you're saying. saying. He's going north. But he starts walking in the direction that he pointed um, of the tracks. Not that Agard knows that. No. Uh, Can I do a perception to hear him walking away? Sure, you can do perception to see if you can listen to the the footsteps. Oh, no. No, Nope. This is two. Nope. The sound of water dropping off the ceiling into the... uh, the pools of water. Rocka right. probably just sounds like a drop of water. Agar's going to pee. The, the drop of water. Is... <laughs> and then Agar, you are up. The goblins are going to follow Puck. They continue on with him. Awesome. <clears throat> uh, he wants to get this second arrow out of his hide. Okay, make a um, dex check. Or sleight of hand. No, a nine. You're able to get it out. Roll a d4. Three. Great. So you take three points of damage. Um, It was, I was going to say a d8 for when you pulled it out, but because uh, Braca was able to maneuver the arrow into a position that it should pull Mm -hmm. relatively easily out, um, you only took half of that, so you took three points of damage as you remove the arrow from your shoulder. Cool. Um, How's your bear? How's he looking? I, I'm rough. Yeah. It's not going to take much. Um, so that's your action. You do still have movement if you would like. Yeah, but he can't see anything. Well, He's, you know what? Roll a perception check. Real quick. Oh, that is a 27. You did hear a splash come from the other room. Yeah, but he doesn't know that that's Bracca. He doesn't nope. know. Uh, There's a me. tiny little two foot cobalt jumped in the water. Oh, uh, that's a three for insight, so he doesn't know what it is. You just heard a loud bloop. Yep. Like somebody making poopies. Yeah, so he's going to stay just where he is right now. Cause I, cause at this point, he does see the light coming towards him. Yes, you can see the light that Katie was holding yep. heading towards you. Yep, that's it. The Katie, you are up. Um, so Katie's gonna move up to where they are. So you, you double move. You yeah. Can get there. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, <laughs> I think just... it's gonna take a double movement. I was just confirming. Um. I mean, at that point, like, what do I? see just the door and them going into it and even even right now you uh, just see <clears throat> Agar basically sitting in the middle of the hallway you can see as you look to your right you see a gate with a rusted door that's wide open and looking to the left you just see kind of an open entryway leading into another chamber I don't see Bracca though you do not see Bracca um Hey, Garth, where, where did Braca go? I know you can't speak. No, no, but I don't. Oh. I don't think Agard knows. Mm, he didn't he just see know him. that. No. Okay. He. The last thing he knows, I, I would say, he knows is that he heard Puck from the gated room, mm-hmm. but he has no idea. I guess he knows the, the goblins are gone too, but I don't right. know that he knows where they went. You did know Braca was near you. Like right. when you, you mentioned you couldn't see dark vision, you were close enough to see where Braca was before it clicked and connected. I would say you know the direction he walked off in, but that would be about it. Okay. Well, then I could, you know, turn my. He already turn his bare nose and start pointing to the unheated room. How far can I get? Because I've moved 40 feet. Another 10 feet. You would just. Just get at the entryway to the okay the chamber. Then I'll move up to the gate. You want to move to the gate or the other one? 
he pointed in one direction for Braca and Puck went in the other one. Are you headed towards Braca? Oh, I'm sorry. I was under the impression it was the same room. I apologize. Um, no, I, yeah, I'll go towards Braca. Okay, so Braca was the opposite direction right. of the gate. You are able to get... I'm going to say just at the entrance, and you can see what looks like some water coming up along the wall, the far wall of that room. But I don't see Braca, even with you don't my see little Braca. vial thingy? No, you can see right about to here. Okay. With your line of sight. You do see that the the ground you can see, the hard ground, not the water, does look like it continues around the corner. So it's not like there's nowhere for him to be. So I wouldn't say that you necessarily panic yet, but you don't see Brock. I know I don't panic yet. You will soon, though. Hmm. Well, is that good news for, like, <laughs> <laughs> or bad news for, like, Katie or for Brock? <laughs> Bones face is just gonna pop up. There's in the a water. cave kraken in the water. There you go. Oh my god! Yeah, it's cave kraken. It's a kraken wagon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and Braca, you are up. How many <clears throat> of those light vials did I make? Two or three? I think you said two. Two. Okay, so yeah. Both and I think when you one. rolled for it, I think you only yeah, had two okay, that so time. They have them. So you said the water's like I can't see clearly in the water. You can right? see like five feet in front of you it's almost like the the bright to dim you can see 10 feet around you and like dim but it's more it's more the sediment that is coming off the rocks right yeah that's making it murky you can even see if you look up where the water hits you can see as that water droplet as it hits disperses like different sediment net that it's pulling off the ceiling into the water so that's what's right. making it so murky right. um, um, also real quick I didn't describe how the transformation potion is so it's um mm-hmm. this potion that changes between a dull red green and blue mm-hmm. and whenever it turned blue Braca kind of like tapped the bottom of it for it to like stay blue and okay. he did the um the vial like the dull blue kind of like brightened like a tiny bit and then he drank it for the aquatic adaptation Okay. Um, but you said I went down 30 or not 30? like About I, 15, 15 feet. feet. It would okay. be the furthest you could go. You can go as far as 15 feet. I'll okay. put it that way. Um, okay. So I have a 30 foot swimming speed right now. Yes. Because of aquatic adaptation. So um, I guess Braca is. Hmm, do I have any other light source? Like magical light? Uh. Not really. I do not. Okay. Um, <clears throat> How far down are you trying to go? I'm trying to go until I could, like, I, I don't know if there is, like, a passage that can, like, lead to, like, another area. But Braca just wants to see if, like, he can find anything down there pretty much. So you get about 20 feet down, mm-hmm. and you notice that the water begins to clear up as you get further down. Okay. <clears throat> it's not as disturbed. There's not as much displacement. You are able to see a little bit further, about 20 feet, but it does disappear into darkness. Okay. Like magical darkness, or can I see with my dark vision? Um, it, it just, it, where you're looking down, where it ends is just black. So you don't see ground, you don't see oh. anything. It just kind of continues, almost like you're looking down into a hole. Okay. So it's just, it's that deep then. But when I swim down, like, or keep if I keep swimming down, my dark vision will like reveal more, or is it, or is it, or is it like inky? You you feel like it, it's it's revealing it a little more. Okay. Um, big teeth. Yeah. <laughs> Since um, like it's not as like murky over here, Brock. Uh, how many more feet do I have? Like ten more feet. Where are you at right now? You're about fifteen feet down. And you said I swam twenty. When you hit 20 feet, so you swim oh, about five, okay. five, five feet. feet further than where you were at, and it starts to clear up, I would say you have 15 feet left. We'll say you, you went down to about 30 feet below the surface, and that's where you realize it really started to clear up. So you have another 15 feet to swim. Okay. Um, Baraka will... Uh, he'll, he'll swim down like, um, like 10 more feet and just look along the walls 
and everything to see if he can say anything noteworthy. <clears throat> you notice there are tool marks on these walls. Okay. So it kind of lines up with the whole mining thing. Looks like they may have started kind of digging down originally before water was in wherever this is. Right, okay. Um, I don't know if I can really, like, accurately judge how old the tool marks are, right? I don't really think so. It'd be hard to tell in the water because some of it has eroded and things like that. Yeah. Um... Rocco really just wants to keep swimming down until he sees something. Like a hole that leads somewhere, or I mean, I don't know. Just take the Yeah. Um, he and ha- you can hold your breath, right? Because you yeah. took that. Yeah, but okay. I, yeah, I don't have to breathe underwater. Um, yeah, Brock will just keep swimming down. Okay, so you get about 45 feet down this turn. Um,. Because we're going to say you kind of use your action to look around and piece things together on the wall right. for this one. So you're about 45 feet underwater right now. Okay. And it just keeps leading down in the dark. So zone. far. Okay. Puck continues on. Puck is going to continue in the direction of Ibron. He doesn't really realize that you guys have stopped. I'm going to roll a perception check at the end of his turn to see if he realizes it's just he and the goblins. This really likes Puck. Like, this <laughs> dice loves Puck. That's yeah. the second nat 20 to that. Bro, if Ebron pops up in this hole or whatever. <laughs> well, he's a lion. He's not a fish. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, don't I mean, know. what there, I was thinking was. Know. What I was thinking there was. There are lions. That fish. shaft went down. Wow. Under and then back up. That, that's, that's what I was thinking, too. Yeah. Or, like, just, like, on the other side of the cavern. Gonna pop up and eat bro, and she's gonna be Agar standing there. Agar is so lonely now. <clears throat> I will say it is tough for you to use your dark vision, though, even in the water. Yeah, yeah. You probably only see about 30 feet in front of Baraka, like max. So, I mean, that will change what you see, but it does, I mean, it's it still ends. pretty far. <laughs> yeah. It's still pretty good. I mean, for, even if it's in water, yeah. I mean, it's still dark. I mean, I don't. I'd say you'd see fish movement, yeah, but. They're fish? Fish movement. Possibly. Oh, great. Organism. Oh. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> one bite. I'm just going to oh, start now. Oh. Out. I'm going to get no, bloated. Him. I'm going to come out and be, you know, that like big dragon from the D&D movie. I'm just going to be bloated. Like, like oh, my Thimber God. Chowd. So Puck and the goblins push further in and realize that nobody's with them. And they, they pause for a minute. Agard, you can faintly make out what sounds like goblins having a conversation they do sound a ways off from you compared to where they were before but you do hear a conversation taking place and then you can hear some footsteps that sound like they're getting louder so somebody is headed back towards you or do they sound like small footsteps or big old stupid lion footsteps (laughs) they sound like tiny smart goblin footsteps so pitter patter yeah not, not, <laughs> <laughs> okay. gonna shish kebab you. Can you get hit with an arrow? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest with you, Agard is not doing well. His current form, which is what I'm gonna, he has a lot more hit points than his natural form. Natural form, yeah. But in this current form, I'm gonna say he feels what the bear is feeling, which is mm-hmm. you get damn close to death. Yeah, he's hurting. He's hurting. I did give that he's, goblin the cure wounds potion. Yeah, they walked their ass right by mm-hmm. me. I'm bleeding out over here, and he's just like, eh, look, I got my no. vial. Yeah, let me see. Let me see. What no, I'm, that's a shit. So that's a net one. He's he's just going to sit there, look at his wounds, because I mean, he's completely... You and I have talked off out of game about his mm-hmm. how he feels about his ability not to see in the dark. Um, he is not too happy? No. So, anyway, yeah, he's just kind of. I mean, he's. I don't know if you can say he's scared, but he's very timid right now. So, that's 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 a that's Agard. I think what Agard will do, I'll say he'll hold an action. If someone were to come up and attack him, he'll swing wildly at it. Okay. 
but but that's it would just be a reactionary thing. Right. So, nope. so that's it right now. That works. Katie, you are up. Um, I'm going to slowly continue into the room that a guard motioned Rocco going into. So you, you push forward into that room another 10 feet or so, and you do get to where the edge is of the actual um, firm ground, mm-hmm. where it transforms from ground into water. And what do I see? Water. Oh, okay. But... Do you have your vial out? Yes. Okay. So you are able to make out what looks like a platform at the edge of the light, just sitting in the middle of the water. Can I get to the platform without getting in the water? No, you'd have to swim about 15 feet. But I don't see Braca. You do not see Braca. <sighs> Braca? <laughs> I get it. Hold on. An, Hold an on, air bubble. An air bubble comes <laughs> up from the water. Bloop. Yes. <laughs> Braca? Braca, are you here? In spirit. Braca's dead. What? <laughs> what happened? That was amazing. Can he hear me calling for him? I know he's underwater, but sometimes you can still hear like the muffled sure. noises. Sure. He's 45 feet underwater. 45 feet? Yeah. Why? I'm in the trenches, dog. I'm, <laughs> I'm down there. So, no, he can't hear you. Okay. Um, I'm going to turn around and go as far as I can back to Agard. You can make it back to Agard. Hey, Agard, I know that you can't talk to me, and that's okay, but um, I can't find Braca. You said he went into this room, and I can't see him. Agard is lying sad. there now, looking like he's bleeding out. Oh he's God. still a bear, though. He's not a lion. Yeah. Dude. It's <laughs> rough. It's payback for those bear jokes. So earlier. sweaty. You were taking part in it too, sir. I mean, yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Take part in all of them. Uh, he's just gonna just kind of shake his head, like he just doesn't know. But I mean, he this bear is looking in bad shape. So, it's just your bear form, you can get out of this. I mean, he can, but I, I'm waiting to do something in my next turn to see Katie, if we will. Katie not. says to him, you can get out of that form. What's wrong with and you? And you see the bear claw come up like this. <laughs> <laughs> um, shoot. I, I, reach behind, I reach behind her and click her removable <laughs> rod so no. she can't leave. Oh <laughs> Jesus. No, you didn't double move um, I didn't this double turn. Move from no, you just stepped 10 feet in and then you walked back because Agard was only about 10 feet from you. Um, when you started your turn, so you went 10 feet in and then 20 feet back to get to Agard. So that was your 30 feet of movement. Okay, then I will cast Cure Wounds. Wait, before she does that, would Agard be able to tell what she's about to do? Should I, can I roll an insight for that? I mean, you can roll insight, but I don't think you'd be able to figure out. I mean, it's something I've seen her do before. I guess is it is it like a whole ritual you do, or I mean, is it just you set your hand on them and you can cast it? Like, how does how does Katie do it? That's the question. Um, so Katie is not like this is the first time she's experiencing her powers, so she sure. doesn't. She just puts her hand, and something happens to her. Like she doesn't think that she's actively thinking about it. Okay, per but se. do you still have to follow the same? Um, it's just components as Cure Wounds, though. It's that's verbal and um, yeah, and some, somatic. Yes. Oh, it is yeah. verbal, isn't it? Um, I mean, she probably just what word would she say? Because it has to be the same one, right? Kind of like a verbal thing. Feel gooder. Um, I don't, I don't <laughs> think feel it would. <laughs> Anyway, I, I just want to. He's seen her do it before. Yeah, yeah. I think when he sees I, you, he's gonna he's gonna do if he if he yeah. recognizes it, and I can roll insight for I that. I think he would. would. So you you yeah. you've seen some. So yeah, go ahead and roll insight. Okay, that's what I was waiting to, to see if it was something. That's that a nat twenty. Wow. Wasted, wasted. Oh it's my perfect. god! You figured it out. Yeah. So when he sees you prepare to do that, uh-huh. he's gonna put up a, a paw. 
and you want to see if you can see he wants you to yeah. roll, roll insight for his paw please high five him and cast cure wounds anyways <laughs> yeah <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> what would uh, <laughs> it's I, only a 10 I high five to bear um, oh. was it 10 meets it I said 10 meets it yeah meets it beats it yeah then <sighs> I guess I would be like I would pause like why are you I what? pause too <laughs> okay hey Agar, what's, are you okay? I was just gonna help because you don't look great, and it doesn't seem like you want to come out of your form. I mean, he can't. So could her other thing just let him know that look? I yeah. mean, he just telling uh, me those. Yeah. Um, you you were able to figure out that he was telling that Agar was letting you know that he didn't necessarily need it at this moment. So okay. what would you like to do? It. She's just freaking out about where Brock is, and if he's not wanting to be cured or healed somewhat, she wants him to help her. So, after Katie, Brock, you are up. Uh, I mean, Brock is gonna swim down. Keep swimming down. Just keep swimming. You just swimming down 30 feet? Or are you gonna double move and swim down further? I mean, uh, unless he sees anything significant, I mean, he hasn't seen anything significant so far, he, and he's just, he doesn't want to be, like, like, he, overzealous about it, so probably just 30. Okay. When you get to about 70 feet, so just before you get to the edge of that 30 feet, mm. <clears throat> you can make out what looks like two shapes, because the whole time you've been swimming down, you've been able to see... Where the platform was, right. there's still an extension continuing down. Right. Where you are at right now, at about 70, 75 feet, you can see that it looks like it splits off in two directions. It heads straight down, and now you can see two different, um, what looks like... Like holes? Wooden squares that are shooting off of the platform that you followed down. Is it something I can, like, like go into? It looks solid. So it looks very similar to the platform that you were looking at. Because the platform has walls that go down into the water. Yeah. Right? So it looks like that. Only now it is um, horizontal instead of vertical. Okay, so they're just like stabilizing it more more or less, right? It, roll an insight. Okay. Insight or investigation? It's a Mm, investigation, probably. Okay. It's a mind shot, right? 18. You, after sitting there thinking about it for a moment, you believe that these are some type of enclosure, like shafts that they had built down. <laughs> uh, Sorry. So that, I'm sure Brock understands it, but I don't have a 20 intelligence, I have like a 2. To understand it more... So it looks like it is a, a closed mine shaft that is headed straight down. Yeah. And where Brock is at right now, it looks like there's two closed mine shafts that come off of the one that was going straight down. Say shaft one more time. Shaft. Okay. <laughs> you damn. You don't right. realize, guys, this is our foreplay. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm shaft. I'm one hundred percent kidding, dude. One hundred percent kidding. <laughs> that hit me late, <laughs> bruh. Bruh. Oh, mm. We leave, bruh. Bruh. On God, fur fur. Fur fur. I'm actually. I'm walking. Um. Okay. Say less. So Agar is just looking forward to bear heaven. So it's two mine shafts splitting off. I can help. Yes. Are there... Okay. Because I, for whatever reason, still don't understand. Is there a way I can go inside? Nope. Okay. It's because he didn't build this map. That's why... <laughs> yeah, we're like down here. <laughs> on, by your feet. Okay, so the beam is going down, and there's two just, like, wooden beams just pressing into the walls, then... Looks like they disappear into the walls, yes. Okay, and they just... Oh, okay. So there's, like, a hole in the wall that they're going through, then... You can't really... You can't tell that there's a hole in the wall. They just go into the wall. Okay. I mean, Brock went 30, and he's been sitting here just kind of looking at this. So Yeah, you're at about 70, 75 feet down at this point. Okay. Is the water still, like, dark at all? <clears throat> like, dark at the stuff? It continues past where those shoot off. 
Okay. Just keep going down, I guess. Okay. You want to double move? I mean, can I? I mean, yeah. Sure. You can double move. Sure. So you basically get to where you are... Oh, punching right. microphones. <laughs> right. You wow. get to the point where you are on top of one of those chutes that's coming off the platform that went straight down. Yeah. They are wooden and sealed all the way around. Okay. That's about what you get uh, moving down that far. Okay. Does Brock gonna look like an iguana when he swims? Like your yeah, arms does arm, arms to the side like, yeah, just like, like a water monitor? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh That's gosh. cool. Arms to the side going down. Yeah, I like get it. So these are just like the same ones from up above? Yes, similar to the, the one that you followed down. Okay. Okay, I mean... Yeah, I mean, I, I guess that's it. Okay. We'll go back to Puck. Um, Puck is posted up with one of the other goblins in another room. They will wait for the other goblin to get back. So he makes it through the door, sees Bear Guard laying on the ground. Bear Guard. Approaches Bear A Guard. And you don't have dark vision though, correct? Nope. But you are sta- or Katie is standing next to Agar, correct, yes. with the light? Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am. Wow. <laughs> <clears throat> so, Katie, you notice oh, four a that goblin. Oh my gosh. Katie, yeah. you notice a goblin coming around the corner with what looks like a vial in his hand that you have seen before. That has red liquid in it. A healing potion? And he's going straight towards Agard. Well, Agard would see it too. I thought you were laying on the ground. I'm not an ostrich. My head's not in the sand. Well, no, I thought I, I thought you were you and Katie were communicating. So, sure. you know, yeah. you're looking in that direction as he comes around the corner. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I thought I was... You, uh, do, you do hear the footsteps, though. Okay. So, I mean, well, okay. I would say you can turn your head and sure. see it yeah. right before it stabs you. Okay. With the healing potion. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He stabs him? Oh, because of Braca's potion knee. Well, I gotcha. Well, I, he, you see him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what my so, I see him, yeah. Okay. Do you say anything? No. You see that he's okay. about to hit Agard with the healing thing? After after he stopped you from healing him a minute ago? Maybe that's the reason why you stopped me. Is it a D8? Is that what it is? Yeah. You want me to roll it, or do you want to roll it? Yeah, well, you roll it. It's your potion. More excuse for you to roll dice before so I kill you. So, six plus six. five. But, uh, well, I rolled a six. Uh-huh. Plus the five, but plus the other five from Alchemical. Oh, you're putting your five into yeah, that so one? so 16. Okay. So, okay. Fair Agard gets 16 points of healing Interesting. back. Interesting. Okay. Well. <clears throat> nice. And you feel a slight pinch. And as you look up, you see that the goblin that mm-hmm. is standing there with, like, a little vial that he just poked you with. Yeah. Okay. Um, I would say you're able to piece together that that is... A vial that you've seen before sure. pretty yeah, quickly. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah. then you feel better, so you don't feel, feel like he attacked you. I feel 16 better. <laughs> exactly. Yep. On the dot. Okay. Cool. Um, and then, Agard, it's your turn. <laughs> that completely changes what I was going to do. Uh, okay. So, Agard feels 16 better. He looks 16 better. <laughs> <laughs> it's my sweet 16. <laughs> Uh, stands up and kind of does the full body, you know, head all the way back to his little bear tail shake. And um, kind of, again, motion with his bear nose into that room where Brocco went. Yeah. To, to, to Katie and slowly start to walk into that room and then look back at Katie and kind of motion with his head to, to follow. Because she has a light. I would say you're able to get to the edge of the water. Why? He doesn't have dark vision. I don't have dark vision, and she's not her turn yet, so she's not moving yet. 
Right, right but you, walk, you walked in, right? Yeah, right around the corner. So I'm going to say you, you're able oh, so to if you feel see the water. Yeah, you're okay. able to feel the water like on your paws and see that okay. I the, got you. the ground ends and it's going yeah, to the yeah. water. And then, but before he does that, the goblin that stuck him, when he goes by, he's going to take his bare paw and just kind of pat it on the head. Not hard. I mean, uh, he's not, <laughs> you startled him. There you go. Oh, my God. You startled him. <laughs> and there he goes. You didn't ah. squish him. Goblin. You just startled the goblin. Okay. Well, he's just he being nice. He just didn't nice. expect a bear tap. Yeah. That's it for Agar's turn. Katie, you're up. Um, I will follow Agar into so. the room, like kind of like squinty eyed. Like, um, I just I just went in here. He wasn't in here, but I'm still following a yeah. like him. You don't actually have to breathe underwater because of the adaptation, right? No. Like, there's not air bubbles that'd be coming up or anything no. like that. Okay. Just making sure. Well, no, because be you're little... basically like a fish now, yeah. so you have some sort of like uh, yeah, gills. I like gills. Yeah. yeah. So Katie and Agar are able to get into the room, and with Katie's light, as she kind of follows Agar in, you look around. You can see the light reflecting off the walls all around. You see what looks like a platform in the middle of this small little lake in here, and other than that, you don't see or hear anything else. Okay. Just the dripping of water. Ebron's probably just standing in one spot. So, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's like, okay, I went around this corner for a reason. I've been I've been attached to the ceiling for like a minute. Hope you don't find my litter box. <laughs> <laughs> just by his claws yeah. up there. It's like, all We're right. gonna have a cat that we get her sprinkling cat everywhere. Right. <laughs> Rocco, you were up. Okay. Bring some fish. Up. Swimming deeper. Swimming deeper. Yeah. So you push past where you were at. The platform that was headed straight down ends. Is there a floor? Mm -mm. Mm. So how far am I at this point? Like where it ends? You're about a hundred feet down. Mm. Okay. At what point does like water pressure start like, or like yeah, like the like depth pressure start like affecting like thousands of feet, right? It, it wouldn't affect you because you did took that. Alter self. I to, mean, it'll still affect you. Like it will to a point, but not. You're, you're not gonna feel it yet. Okay. Like um, you're feeling a little pressure, but it's not to where it's unbearable. Nothing crazy. Okay. Yeah. Um, the the alter self lasts for. Um, this lasts for ten minutes, by the way. Okay. Um. Do I see anything else, like besides the ending? Mm -mm. What the hell. Um. Where does this water go? Oh, man, how, how deep can it be? How am water? So I'm 100 feet mm -hmm. right now. Oof. How, how much more movement do I have? Or is that like my 30 to get there? So... Can I double move? <clears throat> it's probably going if you want to move past where that... So I stopped you where it ended, and that was only about five more feet that you swam. Okay. Um, so you have 25 feet of swim left. If you want to continue to go down, you can. Yeah, I mean, I'll go down... 25. Okay. When you get to about 20 feet is where you can you feel like you start to make out shapes and as you continue further down that extra 5 feet you can see what looks like stalagmites um, in the water kind of at the bottom. Oh, he's at the bottom? Holy crap. So I'm at the bottom bottom now? You're about 30 feet from it. From what you can make out you would think that it could be about 30 feet from it. Bottom can't just not move the extra 30. I'll move, I'll dash and move 30. Mm -hmm. This is where we're going to end this week's episode, as Braca has found a water formation in the caves with what appears to be a mining shaft that was built down into the water. Thank you, friends and fellow adventurers, for tuning in to our adventure here at Cocked, a real play RPG podcast. This has been a wild ride for all of us here at Cocked, getting to the one year anniversary. We want to celebrate everyone who has been a part of this show this week and thank at Nerdius Maximus again for such an amazing customized theme song. We want to thank all of the listeners and supporters of Cocked as well. Without you all, this show would not have evolved and blossomed into what the show is now. 
Also, another huge thank you to Titancraft for sponsoring our NPC giveaway, as well as those who entered on Instagram. We also have a Discord server that will be launched to the public soon. However, without any further delay, let's announce the winner of the NPC giveaway sponsored by Titancraft. The winner was selected at random and is, drumroll please, Tassie J. We will be reaching out in the next few days to finalize the NPC in details. Congrats and thank you for being such an amazing follower and listener of the show. Thank you to everyone who entered the giveaway and please, please, please spread the word about our little production. Which leads me to my final thing. Happy one year anniversary. And of course, tune in next week to see what happens as Brock adventures to the bottom of the water-filled cavern investigating what lies in the waters below. One okay. second. Before what? before you started talking to them, roll a... I said if they attack me. I understand. Okay. I understand. But mm-hmm. I want to I want to see how Agar reacts. Okay. Am I rolling? Is it a wisdom save or something? I don't know if it would be wisdom or insight. It would be insight. Cause it's not, I'm not trying to figure out <clears throat> something someone's doing. It's not with intent. It's... it's are, you, are you... When you get to Agar, are you just... Saying it out loud as you approach, where you know you where you see him. Well, you can see her. Yeah, she the, has the, she light. Has the light. Yeah, she has the light. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll so, see the light approaching again. Yeah, so she just approaches and says that. Can you say it again? I'm sorry, I forgot what you said. <laughs>